All right, so the Dak Prescott case. Um, so one thing that I do need to clarify is that although Victoria Shores and her attorneys said that they were going to refile their lawsuit in Collin County, I still have found no record of them actually refiling in, Cal in Collin County. Um, I found um, the counterclaim, which I still don't have a copy of, sorry, but I found record of a counterclaim and then I found what I found today, which is another motion to dismiss. Give me a second. My throat is killing me. Okay, so it's another motion to dismiss and the description of it says, or the comments say, defendants joint anti-slap motion to dismiss. And this is why I'm laughing. Um, I'm going to read the definition of anti-slap or, okay, so slap is S-L-A-P-P. -P. It stands for strategic lawsuits against public participation. So I'm going to read for the sake of us all being on the same page and to make sure I'm not giving you any misinformation. I'm going to read this definition right off of texaslawhelp.org. It says slap suits are lawsuits filed to stop a person or group from speaking out or exercising their First Amendment rights. The Texas Citizens Participation Act, which is basically the law that deals with um, slap lawsuits in Texas. It says the Texas Citizens Participation Act creates a way for people to challenge slap suits. Now, the reason why I kind of started laughing when you asked me this question, Brian, and when I started reading the comments is because the purpose of the Texas Citizens Participation Act is to protect things like freedom of speech. So if I go on Twitter and I say, Target sucks, every time I go there, I have a bad experience and I end up returning everything I buy. Let's say there's somebody who represents Target and they decide to sue me just for saying that. And it's not so much that they have evidence that I'm lying or anything like that, but what they're hoping is that by filing a lawsuit against me, I'll recant my statements because I'm afraid of what might happen if their lawsuit is successful. That is a slap lawsuit because they are basically using litigation to try to infringe upon my freedom of speech. So by them requesting dismissal, hold on, let me, let me read it exactly. Let me go back. Oh, did I lose the link already? I have too many tabs open. Okay, so their motion to dismiss, once again, it says defendants joint anti-slap motion to dismiss. So by them filing an anti-slap motion to dismiss, they're basically saying this case should be dismissed because this person filed this lawsuit in order to infringe upon our rights. This person filed this lawsuit in order to intimidate us into not exercising our First Amendment rights. And I'm just like, y'all, y'all sued this man for $100 million. It's not like this woman just went on social media or went to a news outlet and told her story. Y'all tried to get $100 million out of this man. So yes, you're being sued for extortion. Um, and it's just, it's crazy to me for a number of reasons. One, they said they were going to refile and they haven't. Two, when asked about refiling, one of the attorneys said, there's a lot of things that we can sue him for, which I think is a really inappropriate statement to make in the first place, but they made it sound like they had just so much evidence um, and so just, they, they had so much support for what they were doing that they could sue Dak Prescott for something is basically how that statement came off. So how do you go from that to, well, you should actually drop the case altogether because he's just trying to intimidate us. And I'm just like, I thought you said there was a bunch of stuff you could sue him for. I hope this isn't what you meant. Um, and when I get like this, I do have to clarify. Just because the representation is looking crazy doesn't necessarily mean that this woman lied. I don't know if she did or not. I'm not going to try to claim whether she did or not. I don't know. But 
the actions being taken by her representation definitely are not helping um, her public perception. They're not helping her out in the court of public opinion. They're, they're really not doing her any favors at all. Um, so here's something else that said um, about slap lawsuits and anti-slap motions. Um, let's see. It says, it can be hard to figure out if a lawsuit is actually a slap lawsuit. Slap lawsuits often claim that the defendant did something harmful, such as libel, slander, or tortious interference. Additionally, slap lawsuits are sometimes used by abusers or perpetrators in domestic violence or sexual assault situations to silence their victims, according to the Public Participation Project. If you incorrectly file an anti-slap motion to dismiss, the court can make you pay the other side for defense costs. It is important to identify correctly whether your lawsuit is actually a slap lawsuit or not before proceeding with any anti-slap motion to dismiss. So I'm hoping that they at least did their due diligence in determining whether or not uh, Dak's lawsuit falls under, falls under the category. Based on what I've read, I haven't gone to law school, but based on what I've read, it doesn't because they actually did request $100 million. Um, so even if it turns out that he's wrong and, you know, he requested a trial by jury and if the jury is like, Hey, we don't believe you deserve compensation or damages for this. We don't believe that they're extorting you. Okay. But I do believe he has a good reason to say, Hey, these people are extorting me and I want something done about it. I just don't see this falling in the same category as trying to infringe on someone's rights or, or simply stop them from talking. So that's the development. Um, I'm hoping at some point I get an opportunity to, I know I was just in Dallas, but I didn't get an opportunity to actually like go and look at documents. So I'm hoping at some point um, I get an opportunity to do that and I can bring back some more details for you guys. Um, but for now, that's what we got. So Brian, thanks for asking. I almost forgot. I had looked at it earlier today, but I didn't put it in my show notes. So like it almost completely slipped my mind that that happened. But that's where we are. So I'm not seeing any other questions or comments in the chat. So I'm guessing y'all are done just like I am. So um, now that I know y'all are cool with seeing me in my glasses, I'm going to try to go live more often. Um, so yeah, like I always say, um, subscribe, keep your notifications turned on so that way you know when I go live. I don't have a schedule for it yet. I'm just going to try to go live more often. I want to work my way up to going live more and more um, and and hopefully not going live as late. My work schedule right now dictates that this is the situation, but I do want to get back to going live at a decent hour so that um, people can actually join me for these lives. All right. On that note, thank you everybody for tuning in. If you're watching this after the fact, please give me a like, um, give me some comments. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them next time that we, we're live. Um, <laughs> get some sleep, the glasses are... What does GTG mean? Is that is that good or bad? Oh, does that mean good to go? I'm like my brain is running through possible acronyms. Um, Thank you, Clement, for verifying that I'm cool with my glasses. I still hate them. I, I think the glare is just a bit much. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if you're watching this after the fact, definitely leave me some comments. I'll be happy to address them next time I go live. And until next time, this has been another episode of Bitches Love Sports. I'm Jazz Monet. <laughs> yes, I'm going to sleep. Thanks, guys. I'm going to sleep. I promise. I'm Jazz Monet, and I'm out.